Yes, a very good morning to all of you. Chali. So we are left with two questions from circle chapter. Last question and the fifth question. Let us firstly complete these two questions and next, ne, uh, then we will shift towards the next chapter. So let us start with question number 13. Prove that opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle subtends supplementary angle at the center of the circle. Again, the quadrilateral is circumscribing the circle. That means quadrilateral is outside and circle is inside. Circumscribing the circle, quadrilateral, when the quadrilateral is circumscribing the circle, that means quadrilateral will be the outside of the circle. Last question of the exercise. Question number 13. So we will take a circle. A quadrilateral circumscribing the circle like this. Let us name this quadrilateral to be ABCD. Circle is with center O. We are having a quadrilateral which is circumscribing the circle. Quadrilateral is circumscribing the circle. Right? So what he says, what we want to prove that opposite sides of this quadrilateral, they subtend supplementary angle at the center of the circle. That means if I take one pair of uh, opposite sides of this quadrilateral, say AB and CD, and I see the angles made by these pair at the center, you can see that uh, this line CD, it is making angle uh, DOC at the center. And if you consider this uh, AB, this is making angle AOB at the center. So, and on the other side, if I take these two opposite sides, AD and BC, then AD is making angle AOD at the center and uh, BC is making angle BOC at the center. And we want to prove that these angles, they are supplementary. They are forming pair of supplementary angles. That means COD plus AOB equal to 180. And at the same time, angle BOC plus angle AOT, this is equal to 180 degree. So let us start with the given. Given a circle with center O, a circle with center O, and a quadrilateral ABCD circumscribing the circle meeting it at points P Raklo Jinpe wo meet kar rahe. P, Q, R and S. It is touching the circle, so we should uh, write the points where it is going to touch the circle. Meeting it at P, Q, R and S. So this is our given. What we want to prove? To prove is, in the two parts I am writing the two proof. One is AOB, angle made by uh, the line segment AB, the side AB of quadrilateral at the center. And uh, this is DOC, angle made by the side DC at the center. Opposite sides angles sum supplementary, that is 180 degree. And second, I'm taking the side BC and the side AD and the angles will be angle AOD plus angle BOC. This is equal to 180 degree. So these two things we want to prove. Chalye, before starting the proof, one construction uh, we need to uh, do here. We need to do construction here. What will be that construction? Joint OP, OQ, OR, and OS. So one point of construction I'm writing. Joint OP, OQ, OR, and OS. We joined Let us start with the proof. 
Now, as we uh, join these OP, OP, OR, and OS, we can well imagine that this quadrilateral, it's been divided into four smaller parts. And each smaller part, it seems to be a quadrilateral. See, uh, I'm taking this one first. SOPD. This is the first part in which it is divided. This is the second part, POQC. Then you can see QBRO. And then you can see CAROS. So we will work in all these four quadrilaterals to reach the required result. How to work? Yesterday I have seen that seven to eight students, they are absent uh, in Punjabi class and in computer class. But say, these kind of absentees will definitely going to harm your attendance record and your internal assessment too. So be regular in your classes if you want to maintain your attendance and your you want to grab good internal assessment that that will be based on your attendance as well. So if, because if you are continuously absent, we can't assess you with a good internal assessment. So better to maintain your attendance record. Also. Moreover, why to take such kind of, uh, you can say, uh, proposals that you will attend the classes and uh, then internal assessment classes should be attended just because you want to learn the things you should have to learn the things to appear in the exam. Right? So proof may, I'm taking this quadrilateral. Uh, in this quadrilateral, uh, this is the line OD and it divides this angle into two parts, angle one and two, right? And if we consider this part of the quadrilateral with, with respect to circle, we can see that this vertex D of the quadrilateral, this is the external point to the circle. And we know that tangent drawn from the external point if we are having, then the line joining the point from where the tangent external point from where the tangents are drawn to the circle it bisect the angle between corresponding radii this theorem i told you this remark when we are doing that uh, external length, uh, tangent uh, drawn from the external point are equal in length okay wahan pe jab equal in length wale tangent wala theorem kiya tha wahan pe maine aapko ye do remarks jo hain i told you bataye hue okay so i am going to start with here D is external point to the circle. And we know that line joining the external point, line joining the external point to the center to the center bisect bisects the angle bisect the angle between bisect the angle between the corresponding radii By mentioning this reason, we can easily write that this angle one, angle one and angle two, they are equal. So I'm writing angle one is equal to angle two, equation number one. Similarly, if I apply the same concept in the second quadrilateral POQC, where C I'm taking to be the external point, we, are, we will not explain it again and again, we will write similarly. Taking C to be external point, you can easily see that this angle three, this is going to be equal to angle four. You can similarly, you can write it similarly. Similarly, angle three is equal to angle four, equation number two. And if you see the third part of the figure, the third quadrilateral, you can easily write angle five is equal to angle six. Similarly, angle five is equal to angle six. This is equation number three. And if you take the fourth part of the figure, you can easily write angle 7 is equal to angle 8. So, you have angle 7 jo hai, wo angle 8 ke equal ho gaya. Similar. This is equation number 4. Right? Now, our target is angle DOC initially and angle AOB. So, this DOC it contains 2 and 3 and this uh, AOB contains 7 and 6. So, somehow we have to reach 2 plus 3 and 7 plus 6. 
so one thing uh, is very much clear to us here from this figure it is obvious that uh, here angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 plus angle 7 plus angle a this is equal to 360 degree right complete angle around the center of the circle when the angle is formed that is called complete angle and we know that measure of the complete angle this is equal to 360 degree so i'm writing here sum this sum to be 360 degree now you see that which two angles are which angles are needed to reach the first result angle 2 and 3 tick karlo inko 2 and 3 collectively form doc and angle 7 and 6 this collectively form angle aob so it means rest of the angle should be replaced in their form i mean to say that if i want to replace one i should replace it by two because two is needed for the result so i am replacing angle 1 by angle 2 and angle 4 by angle 3 angle 5 by angle 6 jinko nahi replace karna tha unko maine pehle tick kar liya tha and angle 8 by angle 7 this is equal to 360 so further it is equal to 2 times angle 2 plus 2 times angle 3 plus 2 times angle plus 2 times angle 6 plus 2 times angle 7 This is equal to three sixty degree. So taking two as common, you will be having having angle two plus angle three plus angle six plus angle seven. This is equal to three sixty degree. Now this angle two plus angle three from the figure, it is very much clear that this angle two plus angle three, this is DOC. Dilpreet, you have joined the class right now, na? Ah, uh, मतलब कि दस मिनट पंद्रह मिनट लेट क्लास में आओ कोई फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता सो टू प्लस थ्री दिस इज एंगल डीओ सी एंड सिक्स प्लस सेवन दिस इज एंगल एओ बी एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री बच्चे बी रेगुलर इन योर क्लासेस योर प्री बोर्ड्स विल बी देयर योर बोर्ड्स विल बी देयर एंड यू नो प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो द कंडीशन वर मतलब लाइक वॉट एवर बोर्ड है वर्चुअल एग्जाम यूर सॉरी Uh, physical examination so same if it's been decided so pre board will also be in the physical form so better to attend your classes and uh, try to grab the concepts of your syllabus so that uh, uh, in exam you can appear well and you can perform well so ye hamara two udhar chala gaya so angle doc plus angle aob this is equal to 360 divided by 2 180 first thing we have proved right so baki reh gaya hamara uh, dusra hissa usme hum kya karenge ye jo equation hai whatever we needed is equation mein उसको वैसे तो अब हमारे पास एओ बी और डीओ सी का सम आ गया वन एटी तो ये जो पूरा है ये थ्री सिक्सटी है वहां पे पुट भी किया जा सकता है सो वी कैन राइट एंगल डीओ सी प्लस एंगल एओ बी सामने वाले दो एंगल एंड डीओ सी प्लस एओ डी देर ऑल्सो अराउंड द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल देर सम इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री इसको बोल दो आप इक्वेशन नंबर और तक हो गई थी हमारी फाइव सो दिस वैल्यू इज वन एटी वन एटी प्लस बीओ सी प्लस एओडी इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी सो बीओ सी प्लस एओडी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी फ्रॉम दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स सो दिस वॉज वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू प्रूव दैट ऑपोजिट सम ऑपोजिट एंगल्स बीओ सी एंड एओ बी दे आर सप्लीमेंट्री एंड the angle formed by these two lines that means bc and ad they are also going to be supplementary their sum is equal to 180 degree so from 5 and 6 hence the result so this is all about question number 13 now we are left with question number 5 only let us continue let us finish that also question number 5 fifth question
let us see what he says in question number 5 prove that the perpendicular at the point of contact to the tangent to a circle passes through the center of the circle perpendicular at the point of contact to the circle passes through the center of the circle this we want to prove when we read the statement hardly we uh, come to know that what we want to prove but when we relate the statement with the figure immediately we got the idea that what he wants us to prove dekho zara dhyan se kya keh raha hai perpendicular at the point of contact to the tangent to a circle first of all we should have a circle and a tangent and the point of contact to the tangent p is the point of contact to the tangent is point of contact pe he says the perpendicular that we are going to draw suppose i am drawing this perpendicular point of contact c this always passes through the center of the circle this we want to prove वैसे मैंने यहाँ पे सेंटर मार्क कर दिया आप ना भी करोगे तब भी चलेगा हम प्रूव करेंगे कि कैसे ये सेंटर में से पास कर रहा है परपेंडिकुलर एट द पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट टू द सर्कल ऑफ अ टेंजेंट टू द सर्कल ऑलवेज पासिस थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल दिस इज व्हाट वी वांट टू प्रूव सो विल राइट गिवन अ सर्कल and a tangent and a tangent xy to the circle touching it at p here pq is perpendicular to xy this pq is perpendicular to xy that means from point of contact perpendicular is being drawn to the tangent what we want to prove pq passes through the pq passes through the center of the circle pq passes through the center of the circle this is what we want to prove let us start with the proof before starting the proof i would like to tell you one very important theorem related to the circle chapter no doubt it is not uh, in ncert book but uh, when we do some extra questions we need uh, the idea of that theorem so let me firstly tell that theorem separately that is known as alternate सेगमेंट थ्योरम फिर मैं इसको एक्सप्लेन करती हूँ देन वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द प्रूफ व्हाट इज अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम व्हाट इट इंप्लाइज अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम एज द वर्ड सेगमेंट इज हियर दैट मींस इट विल बी अप्लाइड इन अ सर्कल व्हाट अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम से इज दैट इफ वी आर हैविंग द सर्कल एंड अ टेंजेंट टू द सर्कल सपोज आई एम टेकिंग ए बी टेंजेंट टू द सर्कल एट द पॉइंट पी and from this point p we draw chord of a circle say pq is a chord of the circle then alternate segment theorem says that angle between this tangent and this chord this angle angle between this tangent and the chord is equal to angle made by the same chord yani ki this chord in the alternate segment ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट मतलब क्या कि इस सेगमेंट ये वाला सेगमेंट तो इस कोड में टेंजेंट के साथ एंगल बना दिया तो ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट कौन सा दूसरा वाला जहां पे एंगल टेंजेंट के साथ नहीं हम कंसीडर कर ले दैट मींस दिस विल बी द ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट इन दिस केस ये ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट हो जाएगा ये कोड ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट में जो एंगल बना रही है दिस विल बी से दिस सेगमेंट किसी भी सेगमेंट में एंगल देखने के लिए वहां पे एक पॉइंट चाहिए होता है और कोड का देखने के लिए कोड के एंड पॉइंट उस पॉइंट तक जाते हैं दैट इज द अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट ऑफ द सर्कल सो अल्टरनेट थ्योरम से इस टेंजेंट का इस कोड के साथ एंगल 
that means angle apq this is equal to angle made by the same code in the alternate segment that means pr q अब नाम सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इज कि क्या हम इस टेंजेंट का एंगल कोड के साथ इधर वाला नहीं ले सकते ले लो आप इफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस एंगल विद बिटवीन टेंजेंट एंड कोड देन अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट कौन सा बन जाएगा देन दिस विल बिकम द अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट ये बनेगा अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट इस केस में इफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस एंगल विद टेंजेंट बिटवीन टेंजेंट एंड कोड देन अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम सेज दैट BPQ दैट मींस एंगल बिटवीन टेंजेंट एंड द कोड दिस इज इक्वल टू एंगल इन द अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट मेड बाय द सेम कोड So, यहाँ पे कोई पॉइंट ले लो ये बना पी टी क्यू दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम मैं इसकी स्टेटमेंट आपको लिखवा देती हूँ क्योंकि सो मेनी टाइम्स यू विल यूज इट इन द एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन बट दिस ऑल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम से इज एंगल बिटवीन अ टेंजेंट एंड कोड पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट ये जो मैंने ब्रैकेट में लिखा ना ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि जो आप कोड ले रहे हो दैट शुड बी टू द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट कोड तो सर्कल की बहुत सारी हैं बट वी हैव टू टेक ओनली दैट कोड विच इज पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट एंगल बिटवीन अ टेंजेंट एंड अ कोड थ्रू द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट उस कोड की बात हो रही है इज इक्वल टू एंगल made by same code in alternate segment angle made by same code in alternate segment angle between a tangent and a code is equal to angle made by same code in the alternate segment so this theorem i will use alternate segment theorem here in proving this theorem that's why i'm i'm explaining first alternate segment theorem in front of you so let us continue the theorem proof of the theorem see this is a figure and we draw pq perpendicular to xy then but obvious this angle is 90 degree so i'm writing as qp perpendicular to xy this implies angle xpq is equal to 90 degree take a point r on here and uh, made the angle made by this uh, construct the angle made by this code pq at this point r and that is going to be pr aapko maine 9th mein sikhaya tha na kisi bhi code ka circle ke kisi bhi code ka kisi particular point pe agar angle dekhna hai to code ke end points ko us point pe le jao ptq That if I want to see the angle of this code PQ at this point S, then PSQ. So, अगर if इस code का मुझे circle के इस segment पे इस segment में कोई angle देखना है, I'm taking point R and I'm making angle PRQ. ठीक है? So ये जो PRQ होगा, ये angle होगा इस code का इस particular segment में. अब देखना कैसे हम alternate segment की ओर हम यहाँ पे apply करते हैं. So Uh, as x y is tangent and p q is cord at point of contact p q is cord at point of contact therefore angle x p q angle between the tangent and the cord x p q This is equal to angle made by the same code in the alternate segment. इस segment में उसने tangent के साथ का angle बना लिया. तो alternate segment कौन सा बचा? ये वाला alternate segment है. Angle made by the same code in the alternate segment and that is equal to PR Q. And you just write using alternate segment theorem. We are using alternate segment theorem. In writing, and this step is going to be the master step for the solution. That angle X P Q, this is equal to angle P R Q, and uh, very uh, clear that X P Q is ninety degree. We have uh, taken it through our given, so ninety degree is equal to P R Q. So this implies we are reaching that angle P R Q. This is equal to 
नाइन्टी डिग्री सो पी आर क्यू जो हमारा एंगल है दैट कम्स आउट टू बी नाइन्टी डिग्री एंगल पी आर क्यू कम्स आउट टू बी नाइन्टी डिग्री सो वट इट मीन्स वेन पी आर क्यू कम्स आउट टू बी नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड दैट इज एंगल मेड बाई दिस कोड पी क्यू इन द सेगमेंट ऑफ ए सर्कल एंड यू नो इफ ए कोड इज मेकिंग राइट एंगल इन सम सेगमेंट ऑफ द सर्कल इन वन सेगमेंट ऑफ द सर्कल दैट कोड इज गोइंग टू बी द डाया मीटर वाई बिकॉज एंगल इंस्क्राइब्ड by if angle inscribed by a code in a segment is 90 degree then that code is going to divide the circle into two semi circles hame pata hai angle in the semi circle is 90 degree so prq 90 degree this implies angle in the semi circle we know aise likho we know we know angle in the semi circle is right angle और इस कोड ने ये वाला एंगल 90 बनाया सेमी सर्कल में पी आर कोड ने एंगल जो है वो बनाया है uh, 90 डिग्री सो so, इसका मतलब ये हुआ दिस इंप्लाइज पी क्यू इज डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल अगर सेमी सर्कल का एंगल है और जो कोड बना रही है वो नेचुरली डायमीटर हो जाएगी पी क्यू इज डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल थोड़ा सा ये मतलब घुमा फिर आके प्रूफ है और इंटरेस्टिंग बड़ा है एक चीज के बाद दूसरी चीज ऐसे फॉलो होती है कि जैसे किसी नदी में झंझनाता हुआ पानी जा रहा हो पी क्यू इज डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल एंड यू नो डायमीटर ऑलवेज पास इज टू देंटर ऑफ द सर्कल दिस इंप्लाइज पी क्यू पास इज थ्रू the center of the circle pq passes to the center of the circle pq passes through the center of the circle and this was what we want to prove that line uh, which is drawn perpendicular from the point of contact point of contact tangent ke point of contact se aap jo bhi perpendicular daloge that will always passes through the center this was what we want to prove and we have reached the result that pq passes through the center of the circle very easy by using alternate segment theorem just to prove that this angle prq is 90 degree and angle in the semi circle is 90 degree so by that's why pq becomes a diameter and when pq becomes a diameter it is what obvious that pq is going going to be passing through center of the circle बहुत ही अच्छा बहुत ही मतलब अच्छा प्रूफ ये इस थ्योरम का मजेदार सा प्रूफ है इसको करते हुए आपको उतना ही मजा आता है जितना आपको पिज्जा खा के मजा आता है ठीक है चलिए एनी हाउ लेट एस सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सर्कल चैप्टर एग्जांपल्स यू विल रीड योर सेल्फ अदरवाइज वेन वी विल स्टार्ट विद द रिविजन आई विल डिस्कस एग्जाम्पल एज वेल हाँ जी भूमिका वट डू यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क मैम मैंने कहना था एक बार अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम बता दोगे फिर से अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम लेट मी रिपीट अल्टरनेट सेगमेंट थ्योरम इज ऑलवेज बिटवीन अ टेंजेंट एंड अ कोड टू द सर्कल टेंजेंट कैन बी एनीवेयर बट द कोड अबाउट व्हिच वी आर टॉकिंग दैट शुड पासिस थ्रू द पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट दैट मींस इफ आई एम टेकिंग एक्स वाई टेंजेंट एंड इट टचेस अ सर्कल एट द पॉइंट पी तो कोड कौन सी होएगी पी से निकलती हुई होएगी कोड एंड दैट आई एम टेकिंग पी क्यू what alternate segment theorem says that if you take angle between tangent and the code of the circle ye bana tangent or code ke beech ka angle then according to alternate segment theorem this angle is always equal to angle made by the same code in the alternate alternate means ulta dusra jo ki ek to usne uh, tangent ke sath uh, segment use kar liya the alternate segment the other segment is this angle made by the same code in the alternate segment this was what we want to say by stating alternate segment theorem right brinda badi late aayi hai class mein bhi 3 minutes reh gaye no ma'am keh rahi thi ma'am main jaldi aayi hu still 31 students and you can see that 11 students are not here and i can see row number 6 daksh Row number seven, then row number 
एट दिलप्रीत सिंह दिलप्रीत इज देयर ओके रोल नंबर देन ट्वेल्व हर सिमरन इज नॉट देयर रोल नंबर फोर्टीन कनिष्का इज नॉट देयर सिक्सटीन इज नॉट देयर नाइनटीन नहीं है नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी कीर्ति भी क्लासेस नहीं लगाती हूँ उसको भी कितनी बार आई कॉल बट शी डिडेंट पिक द कॉल रोल नंबर ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री अच्छा कृष्णा इज देयर पारुल इज देयर मैंशन योर रोल नंबर इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर नेम्स ओनली देन योर अटेंडेंस विल बी मार्क प्लीज रोल नंबर सिक्सटीन इज देयर इन द लास्ट कॉलम दे वर प्रेजेंट देयर रोल नंबर राइट योर रोल नंबर इन द बिगिनिंग Even Bhumika is writing the roll number at the end, and I, I'm thinking that he is absent. So please mention your roll number in front of your name, as the other students they are marking, right? Shall we? Anyhow, so this is all about this chapter circles. So now we will start with the next chapter statistics. Hardly one or two minutes are left. So I'm just giving you the overview that what we are going to start, what we are going to do in statistics chapter. As far as statistics chapter is concerned. After me, what we need to do, what we have to do. Uh, earlier we have done in ninth standard. Actually, आपके सिलेबस में से डिलीट ही हो गया था मीन मीडियम बोर्ड नहीं मीन मीडियम बोर्ड नहीं डिलीट हुआ था शायद वो ऑगी जो हिस्टोग्राम वगैरह डिलीट हो गए थे. So mean median mode we have to do. That means three measures of central tendency we have to do in chapter statistics. Now in the previous class. You have learned previous classes actually seventh में भी होता था थोड़ा mean median mode का concept फिर eighth में से चला गया फिर ninth में आ गया and now we will start it in tenth also. So when we have done it in seventh standard or ninth standard, we just have done that how to find the mean median mode of the data when data is in the grouped form. That means you just have find out the mean when Data is like this. Find the mean of uh, first uh, five even numbers. Data is in the grouped form. Find the mean of first sixteen natural numbers. Find the mean of first ten multiples of five like that, right? So we have find out the mean of the numbers when the data was grouped data. We just did it like. Uh, Sum of observations over number of observations. Then we learned how to find the median of the data when the data is in the form of ungrouped. Uh, sorry, grouped data. Similarly, we have find mode when the data is grouped data. But now in this chapter statistics, we will learn how to find the mean median mode when data is no longer a group, uh, an ungrouped data. It is going to be a Grouped data. That means it is in the form of intervals. Earlier, the data was ungrouped. Just the sequence or just the uh, you can say collection of numbers was there, and we just find the mean median mode accordingly. And now the data is going to be in the grouped form. That means intervals form. We'll learn it tomorrow. That how to deal with such kind of data to find the measure of central tendency. So this is all about today's lecture. maintain your attendance that is going to be very important for you